Why is my dog peeing when I get home? If your dog is peeing when you come home, then you definitely want to watch this video to find out why and what you can do to help your dog stop this behavior in the future. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm a pet parent coach and dog trainer. On this channel, I bring you videos about dog training, enrichment, and nutrition. So if that's why you're here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, make sure you hit that bell and select all notifications so that YouTube can notify you of each new video. Let's get right into it. This video is about excited urination. Yep, if your dog is peeing when you get home, it's likely due to the fact that your dog is so incredibly excited to see you. In order to help your dog overcome this messy issue, you first need to figure out the reason behind it. There are a variety of reasons that your pup could be having a hard time controlling their bladder when they see you or when you are playing. The very first thing you need to be aware of is that your dog is not trying to be bad or make you upset. And you do need to make sure that you've taken your dog to the vet and let them know specifically about this issue to rule out any medical concerns that may be causing loss of bladder control. Once you've consulted your vet and you've got your head on straight, then you need to figure out which one of the two primary reasons that could be causing loss of bladder control uh, that's affecting your dog. This has nothing to do with potty training and even if your dog is perfect with potty and outside of certain situations, for example, you coming home or a guest arriving or someone looking them directly in the eyes, what is happening with your dog in this instance is not a reflection of poor toileting behaviors. Uh, first is that your dog is so incredibly overwhelmed with excitement that they are losing control of their bladder. The second reason is much more heart-wrenching. If you don't feel that your dog is at all excited to see you, then it may be more of an issue of fear. Your dog could be so fearful that they can't even hold their bladder. Alternatively, your dog could be prone to submissive urination. It is important to pay close attention to the moment leading up to your dog's urination so that you can work with them to alleviate their fear or help them channel their excitement in a more appropriate manner. So either your dog is super excited or trying to avoid confrontation. Either way, monitor what happens prior to your dog urinating. You'll begin to notice that your dog is using the same body language signs every time that they are either letting you know that your dog is overly excited or feeling submissive and possibly even fearful. An overly excited dog will wag their tail right up to you, jumping and circling, unsure what to do. Trying to calm your dog down will help reduce accidental urination problems. It's also worth trying to get them outside for a moment as quickly as you can. So if they do have an accident, they aren't doing it in the house, leading to other urine removal issues. A submissive dog will cower and withdraw as a person approaches. This puppy or dog will not make direct eye contact with you while they tuck their tail between their legs. If you continue to approach as a perceived confrontation, they will likely roll over with their tail tucked. This is when submissive urination is most likely to occur. While the problem may be more likely to happen with a puppy, adult dogs can experience bladder control issues. If it's a new behavior, you will definitely want to have the veterinarian rule out a bladder infection or other urinary tract infection. A round of antibiotics could be all your dog needs to regain bladder control. If it isn't an existing medical issue, but rather a new behavioral problem, you will need to consider whether your dog is experiencing new separation anxiety or has experienced some abusive incident. Once you begin to rule out what it isn't and figure out what could be happening with your dog, you can begin to help your dog through this issue. If you've determined that your dog is overly excited and this is causing the urination, even if it's just a drop or two, it will be important to help your dog control their emotions. For instance, make coming home more boring. If your dog is jumping and whining, don't add to the energy by engaging. Remain calm and before doing anything else, take your dog outside to potty. 
Once they have successfully emptied their bladder, then you can engage your dog and bring back that excitement that I'm sure you both are feeling after time apart. Socialization is very important for every dog. A dog that isn't well socialized may experience separation anxiety, confidence issues, and fear. If you have an overly submissive dog, there are a few things you can do. First, lay on the floor with them and be very calm. Let your dog come to you naturally and do not initiate contact. Let your dog become comfortable around you. Allowing your dog to win is another great way to build confidence. Provide them with puzzles and toys. Let them find their food in a snuffle mat or other treat toys. Make sure your dog is getting out. Even if no other dogs are around, let them smell and add pee mail where other dogs frequently urinate. Training is another great way to help your dog build confidence. Positive reinforcement training provides your dog with lots of positive rewards for doing things. Again, allowing them to win. It takes time and patience, but every little step of progress will feel like a big win for you and your dog. Be gentle and calm. Learn what triggers make your dog fearful and take the time to help create positive associations with those triggers so that your dog no longer fears them. Most dogs were bred to do a job, so it will be important to help your dog find purpose in your home, whether that be in agility, scent work, fetching your slippers, or maybe even providing them with a designated area for digging. Allowing them to be a dog is going to make a huge difference in their confidence. Work with your dog to provide healthy outlets for them and use positive reinforcement training to introduce new people and new situations. To find out more about positive reinforcement training and how to help your dog with positive reinforcement and enrichment, click the link in the description below to grab a copy of my book, The Seven Miracle Steps. Let me know in the comments if you are having issues with excited or submissive urination, or if you've had issues in the past and you have found some ways to help your dog cope. Let me know that too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.